Hey, what's up guys? This is Sam from BSG Tech. In today's video, we have a Samsung Galaxy J36, which we are going to uh, recover from a software break. A uh, very common problem, especially for uh, Samsung smartphones, when you try to update your software through cable or through uh, the Wi-Fi. And for some reason, the file you downloaded is not uh, complete or it's a corrupt file or for some reason it has uh, gone through a problem and you end up on this screen so the one important thing you need to consider before you go for this flash is you should be able to uh, boot into the download mode in order to use odin and uh, flash the files so for that you can follow the guide and as you can see for most smartphones uh, you have to hold power button home button and volume down button in order to boot into the download modes in uh, different uh, devices the key combination is different which you can search online and uh, as you can see that uh, this particular model is the j36 and on my screen you can see that the firmware has encountered an upgrade problem uh, please select recovery mode in keys so we have tried to recover this uh, issue using the samsung keys but that doesn't help so the next thing is you have to go on to sam mobile website go into the firmware section and in the firmware archive you have to type your model model can be found at the back of the phone if it's a non-removable battery if you can remove the battery you can find the model number under the battery compartment so today we have a j36 with fn model which we have selected as you can see on the screen and we are going to download the required file there is no restriction as long as you want to be specific on the country for example uh, I'm going to download uh, uh, any carrier uh, software uh, for United Kingdom. It doesn't matter it's O2 or Vodafone or 3 as long as it's the right file. And also you can go through the set of instructions uh, on the right hand side. You need Odin. Uh, the download link is also given on the top. And uh, you can download that before you download the required files. Uh, for the files to be downloaded, uh, you can see these two orange tabs. The one on the left is a free one, which take longer time. You need to create an account. On the right hand side is a paid one. If you can't uh, wait, you can go into the second link, which I have provided on uh, the gem flash. And uh, then you can download the required files and boot your device into download mode. After that, you have to connect uh, uh, with Odin. And uh, once Odin recognizes your device, we can go through the rest of the process. As you can see that uh, I'm going to connect the phone uh, in download mode and uh, once it's connected I'm going to run Odin as an administrator. Once the phone is connected you will see this uh, blue check uh, highlighted and then you can load the required files. The files you download will uh, include CSBL and uh, two other files which uh, will match the exact descriptions on each box. You can pick and choose. For example, the BL one you can pick in uh, uh, BL and uh, the one in CS you can uh, add in the CS and once uh, the system uh, configured these files and uh, prepare them to flash, you can wait and uh, once this bar finish uh, uh, processing, you will see that the files are ready to process. So after that, you have to do another thing. You have to go into the options setting and in the options setting, you have to uh, only enable two checks first one is reboot and reset you don't have to press any other uh, uh, options and as you can see on my screen if you press any other option there are possibility you will hard break your device you might uh, uh, end up with a broken radio as well so you just click those two and then click on start and then follow the on-screen process and wait for the device to finish uh, the installation process depending on the file size and the model it will take between 3 to 10 minutes if you have uh, uh, newer devices for example note 8 9 or note 10 then it will take between 3 to 5 minutes if you have smaller devices for example j3 s5 s4 s3 or j4 or j5 it will take 3 to 4 minutes so pretty straightforward and easy process i will do the fast forward for you so we can quickly see how it's working as you can see on the system tab the green bar is moving forward and on the phone the blue bar is uh, showing that the download is in process and the flash is taking place uh, soon it will uh, complete uh, the overall flashing process and the phone will uh, 
uh, reboot itself as we have done in the option setting to reboot after the flash is complete. As you can see that uh, the job is success and the file is reset and uh, you will see this green sign which says pass. And right after that you will see the reboot logo and uh, the Android sign followed by this uh, beautifully designed Sansus J36 boot animation and your phone will uh, reboot into the main screen so this is that simple guys make sure you only download the correct files if you don't know where to download you can always search uh, make sure you cross verify your model because uh, if your model is j36fn and you download j3sn you will end up with the dead phone at the end flash process is complete you can see that uh, the flash went successful without any problem if there's any issue uh, the Odin desktop software will tell you that uh, the file has uh, wrong flashing or it has failed. But if you try to flash the wrong files, the phone might end up uh, being heartbreak, which means uh, you have to take it to a software specialist. Thumbs up, subscribe, like and share and enjoy your Samsung smartphones. See you soon. Bye bye.